Joining right now to discuss, criminal defense attorney Brian Claypool. Okay, so in light of what the judge said, this avoiding an appearance of election interference, a little too late for that, maybe? Hey, Adrian, great to see you again. Hey, look, really what Judge Mershon is doing here is he, he doesn't want to impact the November 4th election. That's the bottom line here, Adrian, because if you look at the substance of the appeals that have been filed by former President Trump, they don't have a lot of merit. One of them, for example, is he, his lawyers want to apply this, the immunity that was granted by, limited immunity that was granted by the U.S. Supreme Court. And he's basing that solely on Hope Hicks. Remember, she testified in the case. Uh, and, and that's the basis of his appeal. Um, but look, it, on, on, on that grounds, he's likely to lose because these were not official acts, right? That's the only the only way you get immunity is if Trump was engaged in official acts. And this hush money trial has nothing to do with official acts. So look, I think his lawyers filed the appeal to delay, to get this beyond the election. And then Mershant was left with no choice but to wait until sentencing so that he's not perceived to be interfering with people's right to vote. This is the second delay uh, from the reporting I've seen. And the prosecution didn't oppose the postponement. Why? And is this a win for Mr. Trump? Yeah, that's a great point, Adrian, because Judge Mershon, in his order, he, he basically said that he construed the prosecution's remark, Alvin Bragg's remarks, as consenting. So Bragg filed a document. He didn't come right out and say, we, uh, you know, we agree with Trump's request to delay the sentencing until after the presidential election. He basically said that we're fine if the court orders that. Well, what did Mershon do? The judge, he said, I take that as you are agreeing with this, and I'm going to wait on sentencing. And and I, personally, I think that if you're the prosecutor and you went to this extreme to get a convic conviction against former President Trump, why wouldn't you ask for the sentencing to take place? It's already been delayed once. So it could be that Alvin Bragg is feeling the heat as well. Maybe he doesn't want to be perceived as the one who's going to try to sway people to, ele to vote against former President Trump in the November 4 election. Yeah, we'll see. Let's uh, I'll talk about this other news out of New York. Uh, former President Trump voluntarily attending a hearing Friday. His attorneys over wanting to overturn the verdict in the E. Jean Carroll case. Let's listen. It's an appeal of uh, a ridiculous verdict of a woman I have never met. I don't know. I have no idea who she is. She wrote a book and she made a ridiculous story up. She put it in her book. And we're now appealing the decision. Is this, I mean, this case is strange. I, I think a lot of reporters don't even like covering this case because of some of the nuances here. No witnesses, no surveillance video. Is this a mere he said, she said, which was repeatedly mentioned by Mr. Trump's attorneys? Yeah, Adrian, I, I handle quite a few sexual assault cases. It's and not it sexual is, assault, though. It's sexual abuse, which I, I read about was the distinction. So, again, another strange well, twist in this. Well, let's clarify your comment even further. The, the, the original allegation was rape, if you recall. Correct, yeah. And rape was not proved at the trial. It was, it was like you said, sexual abuse, which is, is tantamount to like a sexual battery, touching a woman in, a, in an offensive way for, sex, for sexual gratification. But, but look, I think the bigger issue here is why, why is former President Trump attending this hearing when he didn't even attend the trial? And if we get back to the other topic with the, 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 the delayed sentencing on the hush money case, Adrian, if Trump gets elected in November, he could arguably pardon himself from the hush money trial. But he can't pardon himself from a $90 million civil judgment. You, civil judgments are impervious to any kind of pardon. So I think I, I think former President Trump is showing up. He, he's he's late to the party, but uh, I, I think he's doing that because he realizes he doesn't have any other recourse. And the big question I have is, look, if it, it, to your point, Adrian, if this, this this is a he said, she said, so why wasn't he there in the courtroom? And why wasn't he taking the stand and saying, I didn't do that? Because rest assured, if he did that, if he went and testified, then it would be highly unlikely that he's got he's facing an, uh, nearly a $90 million verdict now. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's 
fact-driven, unbiased coverage.